Hey, how's it going around? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a simple spinner effect when your page loads using HTML, CSS, and four lines of JavaScript. So it's going to be simple and a quick project for you. As always, my name is Nova BM. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And with this being said, let's jump into the project. Okay, so I got here an empty folder. We're going to create within here the index.html file, then a spinner.css, and of course, a spinner.js. Okay, let's get started with our HTML. I'm going to hold down shift exclamation mark, start with the HTML5 doc type. And within here, I'm just going to create a simple H1 with the text of welcome to my website, exclamation mark, and then a simple div that is going to just have a class of spinner. So dot spinner, and that's it. Let's now also link up our JavaScript file. So script. For the source, we're going to go to spinner.js and then up before our title, click up our CSS file, which is going to be also spinner, spinner.css. That's it for our HTML. So I'm basically just going to right click and open it with live server. Also, put it from down here. If you don't have live server installed, it's a simple extension for live server. And there we go. It's a simple extension for Visual Studio Code. So we have our web page up and running. Now let's move to our CSS file. First of all, I'm just going to add a bit of style to the body tag. So body, and we're going to display everything as flex because we're just implementing here a background color and a display type, which is going to be flex. So everything is going to be centered. Now justify the content to the center of the page. So the entire content also align items to the center of the page. And let's also give here a height of 100 viewport heights. And then we're going to do a margin zero for everything. Okay, let's also change the background color. So for the background color, I went with the hexadecimal of one, two, one, one, two, and see, this is a pretty dark blue color. Now oh, the text is now dark, so we're going to take that H1, first of all, in changes color to hash and FFF, we're going to change the white color, and then we're just going to change the font family to be a Arial. And next, we're going to increase the font size to, let's say, 6 rem. Now, because I want the spinner, let me go back to the, start to the finished project, I want the spinner to be shown as soon as the page loads, I'm going to hide this h1 by displaying it as none. Okay, the h1 is gone. And now we can take care of our spinner. So let's work on our class of spinner. First, we need this white background here. For this, we're going to work on our border. So we're going to set the border of this element to a width of four pixels, then solid, and then we're going to use a hash FFS, a white color. Now, in order for this to show, go back to our project, so there, there is a little pixel, we also need to add some width and height to it. So let's add a width of 80 pixels, and then a height of 80 pixels, basically making it a square for now. Now, if we want to make this into a circle, then we just need to change the border radius to 50%, making it perfectly round. Of course, of course, you can increase this to 100 if you like. So just playing around here with the dimensions and then going to have a much larger circle. Now, in order to add this blue color that's rotating here, we're going to take one of the borders. You remember, let me take out the 50% border radius. So let's just take the Border, for example, border and and for example, left, you can also take the right or the top. It doesn't really matter. And then also the color. So only want to specify the color. I'm going to change it to a blue color. Let's go with the hexadecimal of 09F. Okay, so one of our borders is now blue. You know what? Let's also increase this to say the border width. Okay, so this border is blue and if I make it now round again, you're going to see only this part right here is blue. Now comes interesting part. In order to make this border, in order to make this look like it's spinning, we're going to add a animation of rotate to the entire thing. Let's get here at keyframe. We're going to call this spin. I think you can also call it spinner, not the class. Call it spinner because it's the animation for spinner. And we're going to go from a a 0% and here we need to add the rotation degrees. So first we're going to go with the transform rotate because we're transforming the element. 
and we're going to rotate it. And first, we're going to start at zero degrees. And then when it is at 100, 100%, the rotation will perform a 360 degree rotation. So I'm going to copy this transform. Instead of zero, we're going to have 360. Now we need to add the animation to our spinner. So let's go in here and say animation, the property. Now we need to add the name of the animation. It's going to be spinner. Then how long should it take? Well, it's going to take one second. It's going to have an easing out effect. And then it's going to loop infinitely. Okay, as you can see here, it's going to loop over and over again, each and every second. If I want to make this even quicker, I'm going to change this to the half of it. So 0 0.5 seconds is going to spin really quick. But I think one second is enough. Again, if you want to increase the speed, you just need to play around with this little fella. Okay, now let's move to JavaScript and hide the spinner and show the h1. We're going to use a set timeout function here. Let's wrap it into parentheses and initiate here a callback arrow function. And then we're going to select two elements from the DOM. First is going to be the spinner, so we're going to go to the document, create a selector, and we're going to select here the class of spinner dot spinner. And then we're going to check, change its style. And from here, we're going to change its display method. We're going to set it to none. Okay, so the spinner is now gone. Just let me close up the Explorer part. Now that the spinner is gone, we need to show our H1. So again, we're going to go to the document, create a selector, select now the H1. Again, style, because we want to manipulate the style, the display property from the style. And we're going to display this one as block. And there we go. Now, because this is a timeout function, we're going to add here a comma and tell it how long should it take until this function initiates. Because this is actually the delay of the function. So now if I hit save, we're going to see the spinner for three seconds. This is animation. Then it's going to disappear and our welcome to the website will appear. And you know what? Let's make this fade in exactly as we have it here in our finished project. And for this, we're just going to add also a animation to our H1. So let's create a different keyframe. We're going to call this fade in. Again, we're going to use our percentages. We're going to go from 0% with the opacity of 0. So this is where the animation will start. And when the animation ends, it's going to have, it's going to have a opacity of 1. Now let's grab onto our H1 again. And this time we're going to set its opacity to zero. So it's going to start at zero. And also it's going to have then the animation with the name of fade in with the duration of one second, a easing out, actually just an easing because it doesn't have an outworking method. And we're just going to have the type of forward. So again, if we now refresh the page, our spinner will appear. And then after three seconds, welcome, my website H1 will appear. So let's try this out in a large screen again. Let's refresh the page. There's our spinner. And after three seconds, there's our title. Okay, so that's it for the project. Hope you enjoyed it. The entire code is down in the video description below. You can check it out on my blog. There's also a link I'm going to lead you to my blog. If you have any kind of questions or suggestions, as always, leave them down in the comment section below. As always, I'm Noel BM. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you next time. Happy coding. Bye-bye.